be proud about it, man. What is this? What? Wait, what race is this? Okay, game? wait. Um. <laughs> This is Evil Sam. John. This is Eric. This is Donald Poole. This is Spencer. I'm from from Ireland. Canada. From Dunmore. Here in Canada, eh? Good old USA. This is the whole room water cooling project. From minus detectives. This is crazy. Why not just use air conditioning? Typical minus media group style. <laughs> With the original plan, powering the fans on the radiators was actually going to be pretty straightforward because they were going to be relatively close to the window opening. But with the new plan, putting them down on a little roof overhang, getting power to them was actually going to be a bit of a challenge. So I came up with an idea. We were going to use part of the original plan, which was SwiftTech 8 port uh, fan splitters. And then we were going to use one of those handy little wall power to four pin Molex connectors and mount it down there in a way that it would be safe from the weather and then silicone over all the connections and all that so that they don't corrode. So we needed a new plan and I came up with something that I thought was going to work. We actually had one of those um, like wall power to, to two amp 12 volt power supplies and I was like, okay. Well, it wasn't until the next morning that I grabbed that adapter and realized it's only two amps. I wonder if that's even gonna be enough to power all the fans. So I ran inside, checked the spec on the box for the fans, and realized that each fan is 0.1 amps. That means that with 20 fans on five quadruple radiators, we need exactly two amps going through our splitters and out to the fans. So my bacon got saved there. It's just barely enough. Luke's dad was here till 4 a.m. getting all the copper piping installed. We got the radiator mount finished the night before. Uh, all the systems are pretty much built. They just need some more quick disconnects. So this is the day that it all has to come together because Nick, Luke, and Brandon are all leaving at the end of the workday. Like there's no stay late and they're going to PAX to do show coverage there. So coming into the office in the morning, we set out some goals. Okay, we wanna have the radiator on the roof by by noon um, we want to have the room cleaned up and the desks rearranged we need to run uh, water through the copper piping and get the soldering flux out of there and uh, we need to have all the systems tubing connected by the end of the day ready to show it off so one of my interview questions were how do you feel about going up on the roof which I didn't know I was doing so I don't know. As far as I had understood, considering it's on the fascia boards, we were putting a ladder against the side of the house, and I wasn't the one doing it. Those two things were pretty key. Even We could even take the screen out of the window and probably just lean out and do it that way. But apparently we're going on the roof, so hopefully I'm able to check in in a little while from now, considering I'll be hanging off the side of a roof trying to install a radiator on a fascia board, which makes no sense. I have no idea where the idea that Luke was going on the roof came from. He wouldn't even be able to install the radiators from there. That's just stupid. That's okay. We're gonna use a ladder from the ground. I found out about this at the same time as everyone else did. Oh, neat. I have a wood holder. Not really what it's for. Now, watch your head. Oh, I can see that is fall. terrifying. That is Maybe the water draining will make it slightly lighter. <laughs> the radiator assembly ended up being incredibly heavy and there wasn't much we could do in terms of pre-installation because we hadn't actually been up there yet before we cut all of the wood and figured out how we were gonna mount it. So I had to go up the ladder first with building materials like, you know, drill and two by fours, find somewhere to put those, which ended up being like a little lip for, uh, for rainwater being redirected. And then I had to carry that entire radiator set up up the ladder, which was extremely difficult. I was actually on the top of the ladder thinking that I was stuck for quite a while because both of my hands were on the radiator and I didn't have enough leverage to bring it up onto the roof without putting too much strain on the ladder so that it would move to the side. And it was only by having someone hold the ladder really securely at the bottom and creeping my hand out that I was able to bring it up onto the roof because it was enough on there that 
for me to bring it down would have been a huge momentum swing this way, and for me to bring it up would have moved the ladder. So it was, uh, it was pretty scary getting it up there. But once it was there, I was actually able to rest it on the roof. And aside from needing someone to hand me tools from the window above, because I, I, I had nowhere to store everything, um, it was pretty straightforward from there. You need boards? Huh? Okay. The next step is to secure this to that. Oh, my battery is, uh, is no bueno. Let's find out if my eyeballing worked. Oh yes, it did. We sent David for lumber, um, and then I don't remember whose suggestion it was, but we realized that having it mounted out there, insects could potentially be a huge problem. So we uh, we sent him to go get some mesh that we could glue onto the intake on the radiator, so that we could hopefully keep bugs out of it. Now I, in my wisdom, thinking that we had an entire roll of this mesh, used the mesh that I had already cut to size to wipe off this extremely goopy adhesive, not realizing that A, that was all the mesh we had, and B, Home Depot was out of stock. That was the last one that they had, so when we sent David back to the store to buy more mesh, they didn't even have any that was an appropriate size, and they're out of stock for two weeks, so... I was just gonna drill here, I was like, you want a stud finder? He's like, no, I know I'm gonna put a plank up there. I was like, oh, okay. Oh my god. I would, uh, I would be upset, except that it's exactly the same decision that I made. <laughs> exactly the same number of times. <laughs> Is the pump powerful enough? I don't know. You tell me. Let's hope. Not so sure at this point. Me neither. I'm trying to sound sure. I know. Is it on full? Is there any settings? I know, it's, it's full. Always full. Okay. That's super nasty. That is um, not a bad flow rate. We're getting a, yeah, we were getting a lot of bubbles. We're still getting a lot of bubbles. I guess that's what happens when you have that much pipe. <laughs> SwiftTech was a great choice for us for this project because they have some of the parts that we need that are pretty unique. So they have all of the quick disconnect fittings that we need, very high quality. They have the compression fittings we need. They have the water blocks that we need. They've got their latest Apogee XL. They also have their Komodo NV LE, which is what we're using to liquid cool all the Titans. And finally, and this is really important, they have their radiator reservoir combo unit that we're using to avoid installing one additional component, a reservoir, inside each of the systems. So that will allow us to detach the systems from the whole room liquid cooling loop and then run them on their own, either if for some reason we need to do maintenance on the loop or if in the winter, instead of removing the heat from the room, we want to kick the heat from the systems into the room to actually warm it up a little bit. I'm gonna put it on top of here. How many cuts do we need, 10? And then this is gonna go straight up. I'll cut it at some point, clamp it to the wall, and then if there's an overflow, it'll go up here and everything will be okay, instead of it flowing out. Put it on, then press oh, it. Oh, it calibrates there. Okay, cool. <laughs> I literally always guessed. That, that look from Linus. It's okay, I had to hang a painting of his wedding for his wife. Put that down, Linus. Oh, 
Oh, uh, well, it needs to cycle a bit, I think. Huh? Yeah. Whoa, there it goes. What? Are you leaving? No, no, water is just uh, like it, it's going now. Yeah. Did you just turn the pump off? No, pump is still on for sure. Okay, good. Give it some more water. More water. Be ready again. Okay, okay, okay. Judging by how fast it goes out of that fill tube, like, it's pushing. Okay. Uh, are we, do we need to top up the, uh, the tube one more time? Like, can I come down or what's up? We can maybe give it a really short shot. Okay, water. Okay, stop. Okay. Down I come. Are you just power cycling? Yeah. Can I see? So I mean, like, it's, it's pushing water. Okay. You just can't really tell with the clear one. Wait, are we out of water? Uh, in the fill tube, yeah. But if you let go... Like, I'm pretty sure there's still water in the res. Okay, what just happened? That has literally never happened. I don't think water's making it all the way through. Yeah, maybe not. It must have an air bubble stuck in it or something. There's a sh ton of bubbles. Like coming out? Yeah. They stopped for a while, now they're starting again. There's a lot of them. There's a drip over here, there's a drip over here. Apparently there's a, where? From the copper. Really? Yeah. Where? What part? Uh, from the T right by the door. On the hot. Hot side. That needs better, so we gotta get set, Oh, it's dripping green, too. It's the antifreeze. Oh. We need a bucket under it. The rest of it looks okay. Where is it? Blue. It's right up there in that corner. Okay, get the shirt or something. We can't just leave it here. Where is the shirt? In the, in the. last joints he did, so that was at like 3.30 or something. That's probably why. Okay, yes, not flooded. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll go up there. <laughs> it kind of feels like a movie. Yeah. Or a documentary. Yeah. It's like one of those one-off a and &E sessions or something. The Cooler Master Neptune 240M features an exclusive pump design and their new Silencio fans to provide impressive near-silent performance. Click now to learn more. <laughs>